We've got this GC to SW controller adapter from PlayAsia. I'm gonna open it up, just give you guys a look inside. Of course, everything will be in the review, as always. How I feel about it, how it, you know, functions actually, you know, if it does anything that's advertised or not. Oh uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the box here first. You can see, as I shimmer it, ooh, this is glossy, the rest is matte. Uh, the Brook accessories, people do that on a lot of the things that I've seen. Um, on the side it just mentions like a very literal picture there. On this side though, there's a lifestyle picture. The TV's off by the way. Don't know if you guys notice that. Look how tired I am. I'll be refreshed tomorrow. Um, so it mentions that it has turbo support. It says it's for the Switch and for the PC. Um, on the back side, we have a very real depiction of how you set it up. It shows that the switch goes to the TV. It shows that this plugs into both USB ports on the switch's dock. Um, it looks like you have to maybe sync it as well. Oh no, that's the LED light above each of these ports. So when you plug a controller in, it's supposed to illuminate um, accordingly. With this controller adapter, you can connect a f uh, four GameCube controllers to your Switch. And then it goes on to have the regular stuff at the bottom about Brook design, Brook accessories. Um, so let's get this thing open. There's the tape there, you can see, as well as the bottom. I'm just gonna use a little doodad here to hopefully just cut right through her. Yeah, there we go. There's one in the bottom as well. I'm assuming that means after I do that, we can push it out one direction or the other. Things like this I never keep the box for, you know? It's not like some collector's item. Okay. Aha! Now we can see that there is this. It's got a little turbo button on it. These don't function as anything. And where the Nintendo logo would be, they put the the Brook logo. Looks like it pulls straight up and out. The cord is this long. The box is maybe four inches or so, not near as wide as the GameCube. And it even has some instructions in multi-languages on the inside. Oh, what do we got here? A few different languages. English and Japanese. And then I'm assuming the back side is other Asian languages, somebody can check those out. Um, and that appears to be everything. There's no need for a power adapter. It's self-powered by the fact that there's two USB ports. It doesn't explain how to connect it to a computer yet. Yeah, so that's everything that's inside the box.